Browns drunk got on here from Octagon Game. My throat is bothering me, but the Browns just won the Super Bowl, and I plan on making a Super Bowl preview video and a Super Bowl recap video. The recap video is going to be like highlights of the game. So, yeah, the footage from those episodes were deleted, so that's why we're jumping right into free agency. So, no matter what happened, we're going to lose. We are going to continue the series, so let's get right into the offseason. Crowds are the world's best. For the first time in team history, the Browns won the Super Bowl. We're going to look at retirements today, and today is also the free agency. Cody Kessler, your Super Bowl MVP winner. Here's Cody Kessler, the backup quarterback. Super Bowl MVP is Moses Cody. He was not clear. Cody Kessler came and had a great game, but in my opinion, the Super, M Super Bowl MVP should have been David Johnson. He balled out all day long. I mean, there's no stopping him. We'll take on the receiving. Alshon Jeffrey was a force to reckon with. Corey Coleman and Linval Boyer both have phenomenal games. Blocking The blocking was not a problem for us. As our, our, our pass rush wasn't as good as it normally was, but I mean, we won the game. That's all that matters. Let's look at sacks. Emmanuel Aqua had two. Lindsey had one. Peters had one. Aaron Donald had one. So we had four sacks. Uh, we did not get an interception. Ross Cockrell got on the last play of the game because the Browns on fourth and inches. They wanted to have some fun. Uh, two fumbles, one recovered, no touchdowns, no blocks, no safeties. So, free agency. The Browns don't have any big names they need to keep. They already re signed David Johnson back in like week three for like a six, seven year deal. So, David Johnson will be a Brown for a long, long time. Let's see me like the free agents there. Let's send me like the re signing period first so I can show you guys what we need. be the exact retirements because when I'm making this video, or when at this part, uh, this is in the middle of the fourth round of a draft. So Drew Brees and Jay Color will retire. Brandon Marshall retires. Matt Slauson. Not only that, but Holy Nada, Eric Weddle, Donald Penley, Garrett Blunt, Ted Ginn, Larry Fitzgerald, Adam Jones. And those are the main ones. Those are actually the only ones here. Um. Um, side, Malik Collins, Nate Orchard, Christoph McCann, the Anthony Thomas, Jordan Howard, David Bruton, Tajay Sharp, Clint Adkey, Rashawn Rabb, Corey Wiener, no pun intended, Richard Higgins, Ricardo Lewis. All these guys have one thing in common. A, they all need to be re-signed, and B, they're Super Bowl champions. We'll offer Rashard Higgins a three-year deal worth $3.24 million, and he will accept that Rashard Higgins will stay in Cleveland. He caught his touchdown during the Super Now we're going to re-sign. Um, there might be guys who want to bring back in free agency, like Corey Lena, no pun intended. Um, there, there's probably some other guys, too, that we might bring back. Um, but let's see what this free agency class is all about. This is the year of the 2015 draft. This is the Winston and Mariota draft. Oh, Moses Cody is clear. Okay, so it really does not matter uh, that he can play because we're in the offseason. So, uh, Mari Cooper was in this draft class. Todd Gurley. Um, there are some more big names. Todd Gurley is in free agency. Wow. Ronald Darby's there. Jared Veal here. Clay Matthews. Tyler Lockett. Byron Jones. Bud Dupree. This is a pretty good free agency class. Ali Marpet. Jack Mason. Ray Gregory. Preston Smith. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. The first year. Matt Jones destroyed us. I might have to sign him as a backup running back. Uh, Jordy Nelson's here. He's declining. Wow, a lot. Alex Smith is here. Um, Gary Barnage is here. Kevin White is here. Shane Ray. Melvin Gordon. Casey Hayward. Uh, there are some more guys, but this is just... These are just the main guys. So, Abraham Campbell, former Brown. I'd like to bring him back as a backup. He kind of choked and we traded him, but... We're going to bring it back. Why not? Here we got Brandon LaFell. For one reason, and that's to make the Brandon LaFell down the stairs joke. That lost him around Brandon. Brandon LaFell's been on the backups all three years, which I like, but now he's on our team and I get to make the joke. Ibrahim Campbell to be one of the backup safeties. Casey Hayward to be the number four corner. And Ty Montgomery as a utility player. Let's take a look at the combine for a minute. We're going to do a mini, little mini prospect spotlight. Um, okay. We're gonna look at their combines like so combine in a second. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Alright, so let's uh we offered one more player, that was Jeff Huberman. We didn't offer him a lot because well, we don't have a lot of money. So let's see if we can sign that no, we offer these guys copies. We get Corey Wiener back and we also get Johnny Benzel back in Cleveland. I don't think you guys are gonna like that, but 
I mean, I think you guys will. Uh, I think there's going to be mixed emotions. We probably are going to cut him, but because we have three quarterbacks, we don't need Johnny Manziel. So, we, as I said, we probably will cut him. I don't know if y'all understood what I said. But, yeah. Um, we're going to look at draft stories, too. Um, there's not, there's not really any later on studs. There's a few I like, but there's some Marshall Hills. is not good. Turner Gallipo is good. So, yeah, just about Gallipo and Hills. And, uh, I don't recognize Turner Gallipo's name. Uh, maybe I've seen him already. I probably did, but maybe I'm wrong. Did he accept the contract? He's getting, like, 600 k per year. So, we're going to do a mini prospect spotlight now as a throw quarterback. We always don't need a quarterback. Um... Javante Barley, he looks like a stud. Nicholas Luke, I don't think he's very good. Uh, Dave Spearman looks like a stud. But we need a backup quarterback. Mason Rector and Gabriel Bull. I'm sorry, Gabriel Rumford. <laughs> look like studs. I'm definitely going to draft Bullard. I've been wanting Bullard for a while. And uh, even if he's like a 70 dollars superstar development, which I wouldn't be surprised. Most of the coaches need to start no matter what. Running back. We don't obviously need a running back. Uh, Sasha Cockerham. He's the fastest. I kept my eye on the receivers. Tarquin McAfee, he looks like a stud. He's basically like, I'm like, oh boy, I took one out, but we really don't need him. Wait, well, did it, does it say he's catching? Nope. So he's basically my boy here. But no. And that's a compliment. I want to scout these receivers. Um, and you. Okay, Israel Beckton, he looks like a stud. Uh, B plus, B plus release, B catching. Tight end, we don't need a tight end. Tight end is fast, so it's not good. This nugget. Um, left tackle, Ivan Doss. I might draft him. He looks pretty good. We don't need offensive line, but... Oh my gosh, he is a stud combine. Oh my word. I did not even know about that. I'm probably going to draft him. Uh, left guard. I don't know these guys are draft, but he had a good... They both had a good combine to talk to. Uh, there's the turn and Galipo. He doesn't look that good. Right guard. Um... Guards aren't seals that good. So Brill Grigsby looks pretty good. He doesn't have the pass block, but he had a very good combine. Uh left end here, Kerr, he looks like a stud. We don't need him though. <laughs> like if this was season one or season two, we would definitely draft him. Uh Will Hobson, he looks like a beast too. Right end, a uh, Marshall Hills, he have a bad combine. He didn't have that he had a good combine though. Uh he had a six point nine combine. Let's see him. Okay, he's he's not a good. Defensive tackle, Normato Gums. He's one of the best players in this draft class. Uh, but we don't need him. Russ, Moron Cola. He looks pretty good as well. I don't want defensive tackles with like a stud gun right down here. 6.2. West, 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 Wesley Wusu, 5.9. Uh, Let's have a backer. Uh, Zach Racker. I think he's pretty. Is that, no, Zach Raider, not Racker. He looks pretty good. It's one Stubfield. Stubblefield, sorry. He looks pretty good too. I might try to draft one or both of them. Middle linebacker. Denzel Yancey, this is the guy who I really want. He had an absolute monster combine. He could be faster. He is 24, but I've learned um, from other channels that if a player's 23 or 24, it's more likely they have, like, superstar development. He has great uh, top three skills. He had a great combine. We, ha what we have pick 8, 10, 31. I think that was the Bears pick. Um, so I might draft him. I might trade off because I really don't want to risk it. Um, Brad Bradley Berlin, he looks like a really good player. So does Jameson Mabry. Right outside line back, or nothing really spe special. Mary Bookman, um, sounds like good. Uh, Sylvester Eubanks, he looks pretty good. Same with Wayman Drew, but we really don't need corners. We are really good at corner. Um, we have Marcus Peters, Ryan Hargraves, Ryan Cleveland, who just signed Casey Hayward. So, cornerback is really not in need for us. And after the first round, quarterbacks always stink. 7.4, oh my, he stinks. 7.4, oh, he had a suit too. 7.4, oh, he had a suit. Uh, free safety, uh, Stanley Morton, and Hunter Irvin. Well, pretty good. Um, I really don't care about hit power, so their next bet skill is C, plus, which isn't that good. Marcus McIntyre, combine No, 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 not good. Uh, strong safety, Vincent Hayward, he looks like a monster. Um,. I don't think we're going to get on because we don't need strongest with DJ Tubbs. Kicker, kicker is not in need. Punter is not in need either. So, oh my. Uh, uh, uh. That face. That, that, how is he 
fourth in some of his skills, but there's three punters. The DJ Khaled faced off. Oh, okay, so that's many prospects selling a, a part, and I'm going to show you guys the free agency recap as well. The agents not signing Clay Matthews at age 33 was not signed. At age 33, Brian Arakpo was not signed. Will Johnson, Travis Coons, uh, Stephen Gaskowski, Devlin, Gary Barnage, Chandler Catanzaro, Alex Smith was not signed. Maybe we'll sign on the backup, I don't know. Um, Andrew Frank, this is gonna be surprising, he's only 26. Clive Walford, that's surprising, I might get him. Uh, Dominique Rogers Tremardi, ooh, I might get him. He's 24, I don't know why anyone wouldn't want him. Uh, Robert Ayer, the key mayor, Alvin Bailey, Eddie Levitre, Chris Boswell, Dan Jaye, ooh, I might get Dan Jaye. Okay, Matt Prater. Um, I might get Matt Prater, but we don't need Matt Prater, but Matt Prater is a stud. Um, Jameson Crowder, ooh, I think I'm going to try to get him. Uh, our signing, KJ already bringing Campbell, Simon Montgomery, Brandon LaFell, and Johnny Manziel, Corey Wiener, no pun intended, and Jeff Huberman. Todd Gurley goes with the Raiders. Ronald Darby goes to the Jets, Neil Drew to the Bears, Tyler Lockett to the Colts, Byron Jones to the Texans, Bud Dupree to the Jets, Donnie Walker to the Jets, Ali Marpet to the Colts, Shaq Mason to the Jets, Randy Gregory to the Chiefs, Preston Smith to the Saints, Matt Jones to Green Bay, Carlos Williams to Baltimore, Jordy Nelson to San Francisco, Cliff Averill to Chicago, uh, Kellen Wright to Baltimore, Kevin White to uh, Atlanta, Deron Harmon to Green Bay, Shane Ray to Carolina, Melon Gordon to New Orleans, and never called another day. Kevin Funches to Tennessee, Daniel Hunter to the Saints, um, Jeremy Langford to the Panthers. I thought I was going to hold off David Johnson. I don't know why. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mike Collins to the Jets. He was with us for a little bit. Um, Ross Cockrell to the Raiders. He caught the interception to end the Super Bowl. Um, we threw it. <laughs> But, I mean, it still didn't matter. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode is the NFL Draft. Pick the 2019 NFL Draft. The Minnesota Vikings select.